Hey guys, how's it going? It's me and uh, Jeffrey the Cat, and we're here to talk about the uh, once and future career of Johnny Depp. Right? He doesn't care. So, admittedly, uh, it seems that Johnny Depp has sort of fallen off the wagon a little. It's a common fact that he's basically pissed away all of his money on really stupid shit, and that he is an alcoholic. I mean, like, that whole Amber Heard thing, you know, I don't know, man, I saw the fucking video, and it's like, clearly he is an alcoholic, but in terms of her allegations and shit, I gotta give the man the benefit of the doubt, you know? And me and my buddy Jack, we were actually talking about it, and he and I were both on the same page. We were like, I don't know, man, you know, when your fucking ex-wife comes up to bat for you and says you wouldn't do something like that, but... Anyways, moving on from that opinion, clearly the man has some fucking alcohol issues, or some issues with alcoholism, if you will. But also, the, allegedly, he's been paying people to, like, read him his lines. Like, he doesn't even memorize his script anymore. And, I mean, that shit's just fucking weird. Like, I know that the dude wanted to, like, start off, like, being a musician, and it was really because of, um... I, I heard it was Nicolas Cage, but I also heard that Wes Craven's daughter uh, really fucking loved him when he went to audition for Nightmare on Elm Street. He actually wasn't going there to audition, from what I've heard. He was friends with the girl who played Tina, and while he was there, Wes Craven was like, well, why don't you audition? And then that became his first role, and it turned out he was actually quite a talented individual. And he is. He is a talented individual. Back in high school, Johnny Depp was legitimately my idol. And I, I mean, like, literally. Like, you can look... In my fucking yearbook, the quote that I wrote there says, Johnny Depp is the man. I mean, amidst other things, I also quoted like a return to Salem's lot because I'm a dork. I I've, I've always loved this dude. And this was pre Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean just like sealed the deal. That movie went like my junior year in high school was just like the shit. I went my senior year, I went dressed as Captain Jack Sparrow and I was just mind blown because I was really striving to become an actor. Johnny Depp was like everything that I thought an actor should be. Like he had such a fucking huge range of characters that he could play. He could do like any fucking accent. He could do any, it was just fucking amazing, man. Like Captain Jack Sparrow, that is a totally like invented character. Like I know that, I know that he based it off of Keith Richards, just like um, Ichabod Crane from Sleepy Hollow, which was another like mind-blowing, in my opinion, performance by him. Um, he actually modeled himself off of an old British actress. I don't remember what her name is, but like when you actually look at it, comes through in his performance. It's sort of like, wow, he is kind of like a like a poncy, like ditzy, like you know, upper crust kind of. British dork, like, wow, okay, yeah, no, I could see that, you know, and it's, it's like, wow, he takes inspiration from real life people and he, like, creates these characters, he's, he's a truly brilliant man. But ever since the first Pirates of the Caribbean, um, he's had a career that has sustained itself pretty well, and I mean, throughout the 2000s, there was the whole, um, uh, Tim Burton, Johnny Depp dynamic that was going on that admittedly started out pretty cool because like we got a Burton Johnny Depp movie like you know once a decade or a couple times a decade you know first was Edward Scissorhands obviously amazing then was Ed Wood a very highly underrated Tim Burton movie in my opinion and then you had you know Sleepy Hollow which was just like oh shit dude what a cool take on the idea and it was done in totally Tim Burton fashion and it was just a fun movie from beginning to end so you know when they started kind of going a little bit nuts with that it was welcome, at least at first. You know, the, the the Corpse Bride was a lot of fun. I even liked Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, or um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. A lot of people didn't. I liked it. I actually liked Charlie better in that version. Don't get me wrong, I'm not prepared to say that I liked the remake better. I would say it's about on par with the original for me because it's really apples and oranges. They are two completely different movies. But. Liked that. Sweeney Todd was totally on board for that because I was a huge fan of that play. And, you know, it's Tim Burton and Johnny Depp. Why the fuck not? But then it's like, then you get to like Alice in Wonderland and it's sort of like, <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Then Dark Shadows and it's like, all right, guys, see, like, do we have to separate you two? Are you over there, are you over there. It, it just got to be like so much. And it's like, all right, does every goddamn Tim Burton movie, first of all, this is another video, but I'll just bring it up now anyway. Does every goddamn Tim Burton movie these days have to be a remake or some sort of rehash of something? Like, he doesn't have any more good, like, 
Beetlejuices or Nightmare Before Christmas or fucking Edward Scissorhands. Like, like he, he doesn't have anything, anything at all in his vault. The guy who wrote Oyster Boy, like, he, he has no new ideas. He's just playing it safe right now. Well, evidently, uh, that's something he also has in common with Johnny Depp. They've both been kind of playing it safe. I remember seeing, like, a cover for this movie Mordecai at, uh, um, Walmart and it looked it looked interesting it looked like it might be you know funny and it had Johnny Depp and I'm always willing to give a Johnny Depp movie the benefit of the doubt you know but I, I wasn't sure about it you know I hadn't heard much about it and I saw a video that showed clips of it and he does this almost sort of like the the British part of his Mad Hatter it's almost like recycling the exact same character except without the freaky ass makeup. And he does this like weird run where he like keeps his hands like directly at his, at his sides and he's, and he's sort of like, it's like, okay, okay. <laughs> all right, Captain Jack, okay. It's, a, it's not even Captain Jack, it's just silly at this point. And it's sort of like, all right, it's, it's very clear that the man is just going through the motions. And that happens to a lot of good actors. I do think he's an alcoholic. I think he needs to work on that. I hope he gets out of it. I'm still pulling for the man. I think he can do it. I believe he can do it. I don't necessarily buy into all the Amber Heard shit. I think she might have made it up. But I do believe that he can pull it together. All right, the trailer for uh, Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Win Grindelwald looks really good and he looks good in it. I mean, granted the prosthetic, the, the creepy ass contact and shit, that helps, but it looks like he's taking this one seriously. And I really hope, I really hope that it's like a jump start to his career. Uh, I am not familiar with the Fantastic Beast stories. I'm pretty sure they're all brand new. So I'm not sure where J.K. Rowling is going with this. I would be interested to see him be sort of like the, you know, Voldem the, the Voldemort of that time or, or the second in command, you know, like the big bad wizard of the Fantastic Beasts saga. I think that that would be cool. Um, but if they don't kill him in this movie, it is a distinct possibility that he just won't be in the next one. He'll be magically carted off to Azkaban. All things considered, you know, I, I think this could jumpstart his career. He does need to kind of chill with the douchebaggery. Kind of like Shyamalan, he needs to sort of find his roots again, I think. Him and Tim Burton need to stay the fuck away from each other for a while, and then maybe like late next decade, they can do another film together when the nostalgia for the Burton Depp films is actually in. So Johnny, best of luck to you with the Fantastic Beasts movie. I hope you do it. I hope you get your shit together, man. Still pulling for you. That's it. That's all I got.